first of all, it was, oh, wow, we'll have a three-day weekend, and that was really cool. And then we learned about, well, we'll have an hour and a half extra, and then everyone just decided it wasn't a good idea. I felt very betrayed at that public meeting on Salt Spring. I was absolutely amazed that all but two trustees at that meeting voted to support the four-day week. On, um, certainly on Gal Galliano Island, the parents are strongly against the four-day week um, as an idea for saving money. We have to have a balanced budget. And if we don't, they will replace us with a public trustee. I wrote an essay for this island, which went to our district meeting, I'd say, and then that got published in the active page. I wrote that the four-day week would be a bad, um, thing to do because it mean I would be getting home an hour and a half later, which in the winter I get home in the dark and it's a lot worse getting home an hour later without homework or anything. So I just get home and sleep. And then I also wrote about school activities, which I'm a part of. I'm on the volleyball and basketball and soccer team. And so with school activities, there wouldn't be time after school. And so they'd have to put it on Friday, which is the day off. I have a 14-year-old daughter who has had a very successful year at Sims, the middle school, who is going to high school next year. Her day right now, she leaves our house at 7.15 in the morning to get the water taxi and arrives home through the door just before 5 every night. She has between one and two hours of homework every night and she's very, very tired and has very little time for other activities. This is going to mean next year that she will arrive home an hour later. Well, it's been my experience in schools that um, kids can, in fact, concentrate for long days. Um, at the film school here, kids will work from dawn till dusk, basically, and they'll work all night editing their films on Friday night. and. It kind of leaves them as zombies, but they, they produce some wonderful pieces. So I don't believe that, um, that lengthening the day has the detrimental effect that the parents here seem to think that it will. Uh, the kids I teach will be from 10, 10 or 11 to about 13 or 14 years old. And just my teaching experience has shown me that you lose those kids in the afternoon. The, you know, the bulk of the academics have to be done in the morning because they really fade in the afternoon. They're running out of steam. So I cannot see how they're going to get a quality education with an extended day. So I, I'm not opposed to a four-day week. I'm opposed to doing it quickly without a lot of consultation or more I shouldn't say we had a lot I guess in some people's view but more consultation and bringing more people on board and having a more definite idea about what the four day week would look like for Galliano. For my child the impact of the four day week is not going to be very big. I think for us the extra day off on Friday will be quite open but we'll try to keep um, learning in mind, so whether that's out in the woods or um, working with musicians on the island or artisans or naturalists. Well, for me it's important that he does something that is, uh, you know, schoolwork related. Um, I'll definitely uh, work with him on the subjects that he's studying and do some extra work uh, you know, as much as possible uh, with him, myself. I'll take on the role of the teacher. There's a really positive thing that happened out of this, and that is that people have, um, they got together as a community and talked together about an issue and worked together on solutions. Um, but it also, uh, it, it politicized us a little bit. We tend to be a little sleepy over here and everything's fine and dandy. And yet we know that the decisions that the Liberal government have been making around budgets have, uh, have affected a lot of people, and uh, in particular those who are uh, most needy. And I think that it's, you know, it's brought home to us the fact that the poor are getting poorer, 
and the rich are definitely getting richer and that's something I think we can't really afford to forget.